My hometown is 1600 kilometers away from where I live, and I have a two year old child. The drive can become very tiring if the car is noisy or uncomfortable. The Civic has been criticized for being too noisy in the past. The car needs to be quiet and comfortable if it's to offer value to our customers, and we need to maintain that quality at high speeds. On UK roads, we experienced a lot of noise in the cabin, despite the high level of sound insulation. So we used an anechoic chamber at Honda in Swindon to analyze and optimize the performance of this insulation. We did not improve the noise and refinement of the new Civic through just one technique. It was the accumulation of lots of little details. For example, we looked at the material and design of the roof lining and how it meets the bodywork. We spent a lot of time reducing the noise and vibration of the iDTEC engine. We modified the injection system and changed internal parts to reduce the weight and friction. We now have a very refined engine. We placed a big emphasis on aerodynamics and we are very proud to have achieved the best value in the class. Improving the aerodynamics only brings advantages. Not only does it offer improved fuel consumption and performance, it also improves refinement by reducing wind noise in the cabin. We did a lot of wind tunnel testing to optimize every line and surface of the car. Some of our technicians have worked in Formula One and are experts at combining aerodynamic efficiency with high speed stability. Their knowledge contributed a great deal. My big challenge was to match the noise and vibration levels of our European competitors. I am proud to say that we have achieved our goal.